Hello. I am Ashay Pickett, and I love kinky hair. <laughs> what is it? Well, it's this coily, tightly curled, amazingly outlandish stuff growing from my head that gives it this fun spring back effect. For all of you technical people out there, you know, it's that epidermis, the pigmented filament, and I have a head full of it. And people ask me about it all of the time. So I thought, what better thing to talk about here at Ignite than the fact that I love my kinky hair. It is something that people ask me about all the time, and I am so excited to share with you my journey. So. Unless you've been hiding under a rock, you have been well acquainted with the kinky-haired Muppet girl singing about the love of her hair and Willow Smith who knows how to whip it. So, before they were whipping it and loving it, there were little girls like me with hair like this, playing with dolls like that, wondering why they couldn't do this. <laughs> and, you know, um, that leads to some really strange behavior. Uh, when I was 16, my older sister chemically straightened my kinky hair, and I wore it that way for 10 years, so much so that I forgot what my own natural hair texture was like, and I decided that I would go from this to this. <laughs> Along that journey, I found out a lot of things um, that really I wish I had known from the onset, and so now I give all of my kinky-haired women out there some great advice on how to care for this hair. Moisture is your friend. Do not be afraid of water. You know, embrace the water, love the water, be the water. Because, you know, if you decide to avoid moisture, uh, you will find out that you and Einstein have a lot in common and it is not your keen intellect. Dry hair is frizzy hair. So. One of the things that was a spark for me, never comb your hair when it is dry. Always comb it when it is wet in the shower with conditioner and a wide tooth comb. Let it be. Don't touch it after it has dried. Um, kinky hair comes in so many textures. It is as unique as the head that it grows from. And you will find there are women everywhere with different grades of hair, even all over your head, is not the same texture. It is something that is very thought-provoking. I know people look at me and they see what's going on up here and they wonder, how did she do that? Well, don't be afraid to ask the question because I'm always excited to tell you exactly how and where I did it. And it is a goodwill ambassador. You can go all the way to China and a Buddhist monk who spends their time pondering the mysteries of the universe will ask you this one question, is it real? So I come from a long line of kinky-haired women. We love our hair. It is infectious. It is contagious. And when you love it, you give everyone around you license to love theirs as well. So share the love of your kink. Educate yourselves. Um, it was quite a journey. I didn't know initially how to take care of my hair. My sister, who is presently a natural hair stylist, took me to a conference in Atlanta, Georgia, where I was able to find out new ways to do my hair, style my hair, and find the right products. That is really one of the biggest lessons to learn. Not everything works for everybody, so you have to find what helps you manage and have your hair behave. So another great thing is to find a good stylist. I have a great stylist in Chandler who hooks me up on the regular, and I am loving her for it. So they can also help educate you about the products, about um, how to take care of your hair, and then you will learn to love it and embrace it. But after that, what do you do? Well, I will tell you what I did. I experimented. I found amazingly fun ways to wear my hair. I had it in a fro, I had it in braids, I had it in flat iron, it's so versatile. And had I never gone from this to this, I would have never known that. So in closing, I just wanna say keep learning. Um, there are amazing products out there. There are great salons in the valley. So keep it kinky, um, peace, and hair grease. <laughs>